right, well, I'm going to replace the screen in the Asus K3, K53U, and I'm posting this for screen, screen Country. Quite a simple one. I've already taken it apart to verify um, I got the right model. Very uh, simple. It's only got two screws. You can see your face in the reflection. Okay. It's fine. Obviously, a magnetic screwdriver helps, which I do have. Okay. Two screws, and it's got a trim bezel on it that you just basically pop off, but you want to be careful because it is thin and they do break easy. Uh, this isn't my first screen replacement. I do a lot of computer repair at my job, so pretty simple. You just have to pop these two lips up here and then just go around and pull the trim bezel off. It's just basically little clips that hold it in place. So now I'm going to look for a little screwdriver, regular head. And you just pop up, just like that. It's really on there. I already had this off once, so it should actually come out pretty easy. There we go. Alright. There you go. It just pops off. You gotta be a little careful because the plastic is thin. Okay, well, see it pops right off. It's got a couple of screws. You got two hinge screws and two top screws. That's a, a Phillips head. If you've never taken these apart, I suggest marking the screws. Either put them down in different locations, have different cups or something. Um, I pretty much know where all the screws go on this one. This computer was actually put together with spare parts out of a bunch of computers that we had laying around of customers' computers that broke various parts. So, so far, I've replaced the motherboard on it, the hard drive, replaced all the memory. Basically, I put together a couple of computers to make one. And apparently, the monitor went, but I use this for work, so it gets a lot of use good three four hours a day it's running so and I don't bother having the screen shut itself off okay now flip it take the back cover down and you don't want to let it drop down because you don't want to pull anything in here Almost like it's taped in place, so you have to be careful. Be careful with these ribbon cables because if you pinch it right in here or rip it, it's pretty much done. You got to get a new cable, and that's that's a pain in the butt. I've ordered them, and they they take a little bit of time to come in. You see, you got to be really careful. Those those cables are pretty thin. In fact, I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Let's keep this out of the way. Now you'll have three screws on each side. Actually, one, two, three, four, four screws on each side. Go ahead and take them out. And actually, that's pretty much it. 
screw the new one in and call it a day. You know, what I am going to do is I'm going to replace three on one side, pull three of them out on one side, leave this one last screw. If you do a screen replacement, they sent me an email and they said basically they're going to give me a, <clears throat> a rebate of $20 for posting this video, so that if it helps somebody else. I'm not one to be on camera, but I'll do anything once. Do you hear the other person in the background? That's my daughter who's holding my cell phone for me because I don't have a camera. Well, that's the old screen, and let's get the new screen in. Now they do offer this in in gloss or matte. I actually probably should have gotten a matte for what I do, but the uh, factory one was gloss, and uh, it's all right. It was also cheaper. For a laptop that's basically Frankenstein, I'm not that going to be too worried about it. But hey, it's been a really good computer. Uh, where I got most of the parts was the main body of the computer was a, a customer of ours who basically beat the living crap out of it and went through hard drives about one every two months and he kept complaining about it. so. My manager decided in her infinite ways, and we go ahead and give the guy a free laptop after it was six months old, and we replaced a hard drive for free in it several times. So then we're going to throw it away, so I took it. I replaced a hard drive in it, and uh, actually that's the hard drive that's in it now. Never had a problem, but I don't drop my laptop every three months. Uh, I did replace... The RAM, I upgraded the RAM in it. One stick of RAM did go bad on me, but as I said, I use this for work and this thing takes pretty much of a beating on it. A um, couple other things I replaced on it. But hey, it's an ASUS, man, and uh, if you know what ASUS is, they actually make really good equipment. ASUS actually manufactures high-end uh, motherboard and peripherals like video cards for, um, for gamer rigs. And... Uh, I've been using their products for years, never had any problems with In fact, I uh, actually prefer their products over uh, a lot of the other manufacturers. They make good stuff, good quality stuff. As you see, I have fairly large hands, so little screws and large hands don't like each other at all. And that, in fact, that I don't have my glasses on. See that? Well, you know what? I'm going to get one cut on the other side, see if it makes it a little easier. Maybe we make it even. And there we go. That, I'm also lefty. So doing the right side is absolutely not easy to do. And my right hand is basically there for appearances, so there we go, now I got it in there. So using my right hand with a screwdriver is just not an easy trick. If you're not a lefty, you don't understand the plight we go through.
It's not like this is a quality screwdriver set either. I picked this up at I think uh, Gabe's in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. It was on sale for I think $2.99 for a whole kit. So that's yeah, good to have around the house. getting there, a couple more screws. Yeah, it's not really that difficult to change. Some of the Dells could be a pain in the butt to change, but this one's fairly simple. Especially the XPSs, those have a pretty pretty nasty trim bezel to get apart. Some of the Toshibas, you actually have to take the frame apart, the lower frame, take the battery out the bottom cover off, because you got to take the screws off that hold the uh, brackets for these, um, for the hinges, you gotta take those brackets out. But these seem these, these to be pretty, pretty easy to rip apart. There we go. You don't have to crank these screws in like they're gonna be holding a car engine in. You just want them snugged up. Now. Put the cable. These cables kind of just pop in place. But you gotta get them lined up right or they just don't work right. As I said, you gotta be, there we go, you'll feel it click in. But you gotta be really careful because man, if you rip that ribbon, oh man. I've had to order them from China before and you're talking weeks. Sometimes you get lucky and some guy will have it on Fleave, but generally not. They're generally a pain in the butt to get. You have to find one with a broken, you know, people part them out or whatever. But it looks like that one went together pretty good. Okay, so. Let's get things lined up. Now at this point I'm going to flip this around and work from the front. Now these cables are not forgiving. You don't want to get these cables pinched in anything because if you do, oh boy, you know, this is all, this is actually, these cables here, these are your wireless antennas here. This is, that's your wireless antenna here. So you screw that up. And you're in for a little bit of an effort to get them replaced. You can buy them pretty cheap though. Make sure you don't get that pinched in anything. But look, you'll actually see that it has a groove that it pops into. Okay. Just replace all, all these screws and we're done. And be really quick to catch with your lap if you're a little klutzy like I am. As I said, you see the size of my hands, I'm not meant to be doing this stuff. Just 
These were like trying to perform microsurgery wearing a first baseman's mitt. Yeah, I've been uh, buying screens from uh, from Screen Country from my company for many years now. Always uh, great screens. Uh, never had a problem with one of them. Uh, I like the fact that you know their websites. You can actually go by a submodel number. This one is a K53U. It doesn't have a submodel, but um, some of them have um, like later releases or whatever. They have different numbers on the back cover. And uh, you can actually match it up for the exact same one that you have. And I have yet to find one that they didn't stock. Uh, you're probably seeing on my laptop NetSync IP while well, I work for NetSync IT Services, which uh, we do internet. We're actually a phone and internet company, but we also do uh, IT services and computer repair and things like that. So. If you think about replacing your screen, it's not as hard as it looks. First one I did, it was really nerve-wracking, but got used to it. It's not too bad to do. About the only thing you really don't want to ever mess with replacing on a laptop is a video card. It's kind of pointless. At that point, if your video card goes, it's pretty much disposable at that point. Well, it looks like that screen's in. You'll see here that these have just a little tiny plastic clips here. That's what actually catches in it. So I want to do put it all the way down. I'm gonna snap that in. And just just click it in. Squeeze it in, but you don't want to squeeze too hard. You don't want to break the screen you just got. You know, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I don't want my screen held together just with little clips. Well, I'll be honest with you, I've seen the ones that screw all the way around. Nah, uh, these are actually a little bit easier and they hold up just as well. Put your two screws back in and And okay. And there you go. Screen is replaced, boots up. The funny thing is, is I just upgraded to Windows 10. Windows 10 was installed for 24 hours when my screen went, so it's just one of those things. If you ever got to clean your screen, you go ahead and go to Walmart. This is a microfiber from Walmart. They sell, I think, it's a bag of them for, oh God, two bucks, three bucks. Buy a bag of them. And all those cleaning solutions, blah, blah, blah. I've been doing home theater. I actually do custom home theater as well. And, you know, best thing you can do to clean these is just a little bit of warm water on the microfiber. Wipe it down gently, don't rub hard, don't go circular motion, just wipe it down nice and gentle, get all the fingerprints off, flip it over, use the dry side. Um, this is a dry one, but I'm just going to show you, just by gently rubbing it, see my finger, the fingerprints will disappear. But yeah, you don't want to use any kind of chemicals. I know they got those screen cleaners out there, Monstrous makes it, blah, blah, blah. We used to sell them in a store. It's a gimmick just to get an extra 20 bucks out of you. Microfiber and warm water is what I use. And I've been using it on anything from a Samsung 8000 series to, oh God, 80 inch, 90 inch sharps. They work fantastic. In fact, I've even used an overhead projectors, the lenses on the overhead projectors, you know, because uh, they're anti static. You can't really scratch with them. Work fine. 
So that's how you replace the screen on the Asus K53U. Thank you very much and uh, good luck. Let me shut this off.